Hello friends, myself Dr. Mayur Saida and in this video we are going to discuss about pathogenesis of the ischemia or hypoxia means when the particular cell is not getting enough amount of oxygen which is known as the hypoxia then what occurs so whenever the cell is not getting enough amount of oxygen then the ATP production of that cell is reduced that means the ATP production will be very much reduced or you can say ATP reduction will be there so whenever there is ATP production is reduced what it will cause so uh, there is a ATP is required for pumping out the calcium from the cytosol so whenever the ATP generation is reduced into our cytosol inside the cell into the nucleus you can say here there will be the accumulation of the calcium will be enhanced so this calcium accumulation will be increased so cytosolic calcium will be increased this cytosolic calcium will activate particular type of the enzymes which enzymes are mainly increased because of increased calcium production so one enzyme which is responsible for the damage to the phospholipid that enzyme is known as the phospholipase so phospholipase enzyme is activated these phospholipid enzyme will damage the phospholipid present into our cell in our cell which part having the highest amount of phospholipid then it is into the cellular membrane so this is a cellular membrane phospholipid will lysed so you can easily say it will damage the membrane of the cell membrane damage occurs then this increased calcium also activates one enzyme which is known as the protease proteases are the group of enzymes which lyses the protein of our cell we also know that into our cell mainly which protein the just like in our body there is a skeleton is present to support our body just like that cytoskeleton proteins yes cytoskeleton proteins are digested lysed by these protease enzymes so our cellular cytoskeleton is also damaged as well as this protease also damage our membrane because protein is also present into the membrane so membrane lysis also occurs so that's how our membrane is damaged whenever the membrane is damaged uh, it also damages the membranes of the intracellular organelles so these organelles will release these organelles will release the enzymes and these enzymes further damage the cell and what it will results it results in the cellular death that will result into the cellular death yes exactly now because of this hypoxia uh, there is activation of the enzymes and these enzymes do leads to the uh, cellular death but as atp is necessary for the production of the many substances so which production is mainly hampered reduced we can say that uh, phospholipid production is reduced and so this phospholipid production is reduced here it is damaged that will also leads to the membrane damage as well as these atp is not produced so whenever the police is not there the thieves are teams are get activated so into our cell free radicals mainly activated which free radicals there is oxygen then you can say uh, hydrogen peroxide as well as uh, hydroxyl ions these negative charged ions as well as a hydrogen peroxide they works as a free radicals yes they are the free radicals and these free radicals damage our dna cellular dna damage also occurs as well as it do the oxidation of uh, many substances particularly lipid it will uh, do the lipid peroxidation and further also it will leads to the membrane damage so membrane is damaged through many pathway one because of the increased cytoskeletal calcium 
second because of uh, decreased phospholipid uh, production third because of the free radicals and lipid peroxidation they all will lead to the cellular death yes and when the cellular death is occurred it releases the multiple type of enzymes into our blood it depends the site of cellular damage just like when the liver cells are damaged uh, that will release the alt ast into the blood when the heart cells damaged it will release the cpkmb into the blood as well as the cardiac troponin into the blood so the enzymes which are released into the blood which occurs because of the cellular death as well as the nuclear changes also occurs nuclear is condensed which is known as the pycnosis as well as the nucleus is compressed and then the lysis of the nucleus which is known as the karyolysis as well as multiple fragmentation of the nucleus which is known as the karyorhexis so that's how hypoxia ischemia will result into the cellular death thanks for listening